Josh? We've been married about five and a half years. We met when we were both teaching several years ago and started dating while we were teaching, semi undercover, <laughs> and got married shortly after. So I was a teacher for eight years and started off teaching fourth grade, um, and then I switched to um, ESL. So I was teaching students who were learning English as their second language. And I stopped teaching about a year ago and took a job at a senior living community here in town in the marketing department. So I went back to um, back to my roots, if you will. Uh, I taught elementary special ed and then moved into assistant principal for a little time. On the outside of that, I've always been into remodeling and the housing market and buying and selling property and just kind of had this passion that grew and grew into real estate. And so two years ago, I took a leap of faith and started my own real estate business. Uh, with a partner. I personally enjoy the outdoors, golfing, hiking. Um, I love building stuff. Uh, that, that's kind of my peace time is I can get into the wood shop and, and build things. I like to exercise and be outside and go for runs and recently I've started a blog and have tried to offer some free adoption consultation for people who are starting the adoption process but don't really know where to start and so just some opinions and advice and things about our personal journey so far to kind of get them started on the right foot. Initially when we first found out that we couldn't have children naturally we were devastated and a little embarrassed and a little sad um, but once we started on the path of adoption we just kind of knew that was our calling um, so we were matched with Ryan's birth mother and um, got to go through that whole process got to be there during the delivery and experience that whole um, miracle uh, and we brought her home and uh, been raising her since and, and the whole time we knew we wanted to do it again We just were kind of waiting for that perfect time. Ryan has wanted to be a big sister for a while I feel like um, she loves her baby dolls and taking care of them and she's so sweet around her cousins and um, But it seemed like the perfect time for us. Right. So she's excited and we we're just ready to give it a go We're family. We're that's what we do. We love to do things together Probably one of our most favorite things is Sunday night dinner. We go to Lauren's parents' house basically every Sunday and her dad uh, cooks for us and we all just kind of gather around the table and just spend time together. And we just feel very blessed that we have both sides of our family here in town. We get to see them often and Ryan is close with all her cousins and grandparents, great grandparents, and that's just been a huge blessing to us and they have all been so incredibly supportive of the adoption. Yeah, we're looking to add that again. Uh, we, we know that there's a lot more love between our family, our immediate family and our outside family and our friends, that there's, there's a lot more love to give. That's what we're looking for uh, this go around. We also want to take this opportunity to thank you um, for even considering us um, to raise your child. We can promise you one thing that you will never have to doubt is how loved this child will be and we're just incredibly thankful and humbled and you will never have to worry about how taking care of this child will be loved because that, that that's not a question. I would just want to say thank you for even thinking of us uh, as a possibility of somebody that you would trust in raising a child that you carry. As a couple, we, we can't imagine life without Ryan now. And um, we talk every night about the, the next step, the what ifs and the ifs and the can you imagine. And um, we want you to be part of that story. And we're just so grateful that, that you may decide that, that we're the family for you.